back with our Handy Sam 1200 airlift. We've had this thing for a year now. I'm gonna go over some of the things we've done to change it and let you know exactly how it's held up. Wiped it all down real well, just so you could see kind of the different scratches and nicks and things like that out of it. Nothing major whatsoever. And we've had this thing, again, for a full year in service. And this is doing you know, a lot of work. It It is put into action for 12 to 14 hours almost every day, even more during the spring and the summer. It's held up rather well, in my opinion, as far as the luster and everything goes. The airbag on this is the one thing I was worried about because on our other unit, it has a hydraulic instead of an airbag. I would prefer the hydraulic on this. They didn't offer the Handy Sam 1000 anymore. So we went with this. The airbag has been great. I will say that it is difficult and kind of struggles with some of the heavier things. If you've got something close to that 1200 pound mark, it seems like the 1000 did a better job of lifting up those heavier things than this did. They do sell a 1500 which has a hydraulic instead of a uh, airbag. The tray in the top kind of catches anything if anything falls down here and keeps anything from getting around the airbag to puncture it. I do spray this off often with just a air nozzle. Make sure there's no, you know, uh, pieces of metal or anything like that that could puncture it because that is a very possible issue. The modifications I've made, uh, the first one is going to be like uh, double wide six repairs recommended this to me and this table to me actually. The lock and the unlock. We made an extension so it comes out on each side so you do not have to bend over in order to hit the lever way down at the bottom here. We did that on both sides. And then we also put slots in this side for the ramp so we could have the access panel at the other side to make it a little bit easier uh, for when we do engine swaps and things like that. So there's an access panel right there at the middle for taking off the PTO bolt. Gives us a little bit more room to work with doing it that way. This didn't have any access um, or slots here for the middle ramp, even though the outside did have slots. We did those. We put a hole in the center just for doing uh, steering rods and things like that. When it drops down through, just a nice hole almost in the center. <laughs> Other side, same thing. Lock, unlock. And when we switched the table around is when I added this one. Before, I just had the other one when the table was the other way. With the table this way, it seems a lot better than the way that it was. Overall, this table has held up very well, I would say. Everything about it, I have liked. The one thing, as I said, it's kind of hard for it to pull up very heavy things. And if you look at this end, the area where the where the cutout is, where the access panel is, you can see that the whole thing is bowed. It's not straight anymore. It has bent. Something to shore that up would be nice for sure because the whole thing is bent, but the other side is actually perfect. There's no issue with it. That doesn't bother me too much as long as it's still structurally sound over here everything's great no issue but that access panel you can kind of see it from here too just how how actually bent that is that access panel definitely weakens that metal up they have the 1500 pound again with the hydraulic ram that may be the one that i go with next time it's also made in the usa it has 11 gauge steel i believe instead of 12 gauge steel Let's go look at the Handy Sam 1000 that we've had 
We've had this one, I think, for three years now. And this thing, looking at the top, I had him wipe this down too, just so we can kind of see exactly what's going on. Paint missing in some areas on the top for sure. We put some traction, uh, like bed liner spray, uh, roll on stuff on the ramp to help us get a little bit more traction and be able to get up the ramp because that ramp's not quite long enough. The ramp on the other one is gonna be 30 inches uh, where I think on, I think on the 1500, the BOB 1500, I think it's actually a 40 inch ramp, which would help a lot with, as long as it doesn't come up much higher. I'm not sure exactly what the height on the other one is. This one sits about an inch lower than the one up front, but with the ramp being the way that it is, it's a lot more difficult to get riding mowers and stuff like that up there. A lot of the times he'll use or do the small equipment as opposed to the large. Again, Handy Sam 1000, it's got the big hydraulic ram on it. And this thing's been a workhorse. I guarantee you this thing is lifted more than a thousand pounds several times no real issues no real maintenance we lube them up usually once or twice a year sad to say i haven't done that on the other one yet i need to we'll get that done soon kind of the same thing as far as the bending but this one doesn't look quite as bad and it was in service longer than that other one with heavy things it doesn't get as much heavy use now a lot older and seems to have held up very well for what it is we created this for the release and the lock to go ahead and pull it up to release it if you have the lock down this one doesn't automatically lock the foot pedals have been one of the very difficult things on these this is one i think that came from a different lift at some point uh he's been using this ever since it's been perfectly fine no issue whatsoever. It takes a little bit for it to go down. But it lifts and goes back up very smooth. This one doesn't go quite as high as the other one, as I've spoke about in the other video. I think the, the BOB 1500 actually goes an extra inch higher than what the other one I have in here does. Let's take a look at what I did to the instead of a foot pedal on this one since right out of the box i did have issues with the pedal i would assume they probably don't want to do something like this because of a liability issue but what i have done is i've got air coming straight in i've just got a shut off i had a regulator originally just because that was what was most handy was a used regulator for a t uh, and then I've got a release. So all I have to do is shut off my air, unlock it on the backside, and then I just let the air come out right here in order to drop it down. The only problem with that is you're not, you don't have to be with it the whole time that it's dropping. They probably think that that's a liability issue just in case it falls on something. Probably the reason they don't use this uh, cheaper way of going up and down as opposed to a pedal on the floor. Much less reliable, I believe. Those pedals on the floor, so many issues with them besides that other one right there and back that again, I don't think is a handy brand. I think it's actually an Airlift Plus brand. If we have this unlocked, we do. We'll go ahead. And Takes a moment to go down also. It's got that big airbag, remember? Well, that other one just has that hydraulic ram, so it holds a lot less air volume. And then to go back up, all I have to do, flip that on, flip my other switch on, and it goes up. It goes up really, really fast. 
especially when you don't have anything on it but otherwise it takes a minute depending on the weight it kind of varies depending on that this thing has been again our workhorse we've done so many different things with it and really kind of abused it and with no major issues whatsoever i was worried about that airbag with all the sharp things and with all the you know debris and dust and everything that gets all over the place in here not an issue haven't had any issues with it again i kind of go through and keep it clean of debris as much as i can but for all intents and purposes this is this is a workhorse of a table if you're going to get to that 1200 pound limit or close to it or over uh, because of the access panel bending that i see here i would probably go with the bob 1500 which is going to give you a little bit thicker tabletop i think that one actually has a 28 inch original width also from here to here and then it also has 12 inch extensions on the outside so you would have an extra four inches of space on the tabletop for working with that works great for large zero turns and things like that that's the one on my ball and just because these lifts have been so great next time we need one may end up going that route for now these tables will probably last you know forever as long as we take care of them maintenance them uh, very light duty as far as needing to do anything to them but take care of it you know don't just let stuff pile up pay attention to what's around the airbag uh, and keep them greased. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.